Welcome back, it has been a while, it's nearly been two weeks since I've sat in this seat and recorded a video but today we're back. First of all I hope you all had a brilliant Christmas and a very happy new year to everyone watching this of course. My Christmas was topped off by hitting 20,000 subscribers so I cannot thank you enough for the support you showed me in the month of December. And yeah we're aiming for bigger and better things in 2024 so if you're looking for all the best for some content get down there, click the red subscribe button, 25k is the the next goal that would be an incredible goal to hit so like i said if you're looking for the best racks and content on youtube this is the place to be. Today we're talking transfer news. Of course, we're into January, which means Wrexham AFC are now looking to sign and offload players in the January transfer window. There's been a couple of names floating around that Wrexham have been linked with. And of course, there's been a couple of players that have been linked to move away from Wrexham AFC. We're going to be talking about them in today's video. And yeah, I definitely know worse ways to start a year off than this. Paul Mullin and Elliot Lee have signed new Wrexham AFC contracts until 2026. Seven. They've put pen to paper to sign a three-year deal. Mullen and Lee were invested in this project early on and they've been absolutely phenomenal since signing for Rexham AFC. You know, they've played for the badge and it's great to see that they've progressed and of course massively impressed for Rexham AFC and it's good that they've been rewarded with an extra three-year contract. Of course we know they are scoring goals for fun between them. I make that 118 goals in 198 games, which is an absolutely ridiculous stat. And I don't want to know how many assists they've got as well. So it's good to see that we've got two of our main attackers put pen to paper for another three years. Everyone will be, you know, looking at new transfers in this window. They'll be wanting players in. But for me, this could be one of the best bits of business we do this season in League 2. Getting these two signed putting pen to paper for me is good enough and yeah seeing Elliot Lee sign a new contract can of course debunk any rumours of him going to Birmingham City of course they were floating around a couple of weeks ago so he's here to stay likewise with Paul Mullin it's huge for the players it's huge for the club and it's huge for the future and the future seasons ahead for Rex AFC getting these two tied down is massive because of course it looks hopefully that we're on track for automatic promotion to League One next year. Getting Paul Mullen, Elliot Lee signed down for that season is absolutely magical and to think that we've got them for the long term then vested in this project and I'm over the moon with this bit of chance for business. Like I said they've both understood the vision of where Wrexham AFC wants to go. They've understood that Wrexham have been a sleeping giant for the past couple of years. They have been invested into this project by Phil Parkinson, Ryan and Rob and of course the fans have adopted them as one of our own and it's great to see how well they've progressed from when they first joined Wrexham to where they are now. They've massively impressed and have caught on massively with the fans. So yeah, great to see Paul Mullin and Elliot Lee extend their contracts at Wrexham. And we're moving on to transfer news. A player could be coming into Wrexham. You might have heard of him, Johnson Clark Harris. Now it's been heavily rumoured in the past couple of days that Peterborough United striker Johnson Clark Harris could be leaving the posh in January with Wrexham hoping to land what would be a club record deal for the 29 year old striker. Now Clark Harris is probably renowned by most EFL fans by now from his incredible scoring days at Bristol Rovers and most notably Peterborough United. Since signing for Peterborough United for 1.2 million in 2020 Johnson Clark Harris has scored 31 league goals in his first season which helped Peterborough United get promoted to the championship. He followed up with 12 in 41 in the championship and since their relegation from the championship up until the current date he has scored 33 goals in 65 games. One thing that you can get from Johnson Clark Harris it's guaranteed you will get goals. And I do think there's a bit of pressure on Paul Mullin obviously to perform week in week out. We've got Fletch who has come back he scored a hat trick on New Year's Day so hopefully you know he'll help Paul Mullin in that but getting an extra striker in I think maybe isn't so much a must but is almost like a we wouldn't turn it down off in my opinion I would like to see another striker be brought in but I wouldn't say it's the end of the world if we don't bring one in in this transfer window but the thing is this opportunity for signing a play of Johnson Clark Harris's caliber and quality doesn't come about often you know it's said by Peterborough United fans that Johnson Clark Harris isn't fitting Darren Ferguson's new style of play at Peterborough United and they're looking to offload him and bring in a new striker that does fit their style now cash your minds back to the summer of 2023 Bristol Rovers on deadline day were that close they were seconds away 
from signing Clark Harris for £800,000. That deal fell through. Their owner then came out and said that Wrexham were one of the clubs interested, but funnily enough, I was looking on Twitter the other day and he was answering people's questions on Clark Harris. I did actually say that Wrexham haven't made any official approach in this transfer window for Clark Harris and that there's a numerous amount of other clubs looking at him. For example, Charlton have had a couple of bids rejected. He said they're way off the mark for where they price Clark Harris at. Gillingham in our league are one of the clubs after him, so it doesn't take a lot to know the quality of Johnson Clark Harris. Just look at his goal scoring record on Google. He scores goals every season he plays and he's such a good striker. We know the quality he's got. He's attracted interest from League One clubs, from Championship clubs and their owners said it as well. They're more than happy to let him go to an ambitious club in League Two for the right amount of money. Johnson Clark Harris's contract expires at the end of this season so they'll be wanting to offload him in January to free up those funds to get another striker in because let's be honest they're not going to want to lose Clark Harris on a free and he's not not going to sign a new contract so I do think it's a no-brainer for Rexham FC to go in and get Clark Harris and if we're talking on a transfer fee I think we can get him for £500,000. I know it seems a lot. Of course, you're probably thinking at home that's a hell of a lot. That'll break our transfer record fee by at least £200,000, £250,000. But the matter of fact is, we're not going to get a better opportunity to sign a striker of Clark Harris's quality for such a low transfer fee. He's had multiple seasons in League One. He's won Golden Boot. He's got in Team of the Year. He's got multiple Player of the Month awards. And it's not like that was like 10 years ago. It's recently he signed for Peterborough United in 2020 and he scored nearly 100 goals for Peterborough since signing for them. So it's not like we're taking a risk on signing an unknown striker. Anyone can see it. Anyone can understand the quality of Johnson Clark Harris. And, you know, I would be bitterly disappointed if we were to lose Clark Harris to a club like Gillingham, for example, in our league, who we absolutely destroyed at home this season, you know. You know, I do think as well, their owners said they're happy to let him go to a League Two club that has ambitions of going up to League One next year. It fits the bill perfectly for Wrexham to go in for him, of course. You think what that would do to our striking options. Paul Mullin, Stephen Fletcher, Johnson Clark Harris, Ollie Palmer, Sam Dolby. That would bolster our ranks up front massively and could be vital for the stretch from now until the end of the season. I think if we got Clark Harris, we would 100% get automatic promotion, you know. Like I said, you take the weight off the shoulders of Paul Mullen, and I cannot even begin to think of the strike partnership of Clark Harris and Mullen. I do think we need a striker up front as well that has a bit of pace about them. You know, we've got multiple target men and hold-up players, but Johnson Clark Harris has got a bit of speed about him. He's got a natural instinct to put the ball in the back of the net. He knows how to do that as well. He's experienced. This is a no-brainer, and I hope, I hope that we do go in for Clark Harris in the January transfer window. And like I said, if we're looking at other clubs that are interested, their owner has actually said on Twitter that the likes of Charlton, Gillingham, of course, Bristol Rovers are set to go back in for him. Fleetwood Town were lurking, but they've signed a player from the League of Ireland, so I think we can rule them out of it. And I'm not even being silly. I genuinely think we could outbid the likes of Charlton Athletic, Bristol Rovers, you know, and I do think it's a better ambitious project than some of the teams that are reportedly interested in them. Charleston Athletic, yes, they're of course going to be lurking to going in the championship, etc. But if he wants a real challenge and if he wants to test himself, of course he's 29, he's still got time ahead of him then. This is an ambitious project at Wrexham Football Club. You're not going to get that at Bristol Rovers. You're not going to get that at Fleetwood Town. Fleetwood look to be going down anyway. I think they're bottom of the league. And of course, Gillingham, who are in the National League, I cannot see them getting playoffs this year. So yeah, I'm just really, really hoping we can get Johnson Clark Harris signed on the dotted line. Of course, I'll be doing a full breakdown analysis video of Clark Harris and another striker that we have actually been linked with in the transfer window. So keep an eye out for that on the channel in a few days time. Next bit of news is about our striker, Billy Waters. Now Halifax manager Chris Millington has said he'd be interested in re-signing Billy Waters if the opportunity did come about in the transfer window. It's likely that Waters will depart Wrexham whether it be on a permanent or a loan transfer but could this be the right move for Billy Waters going back to his former club where he set at the league of light scoring something like 18-19 goals for them you know help them get that playoffs. Would this be the right move for Billy Waters? In my opinion, I would like to see him go back maybe to Halifax. You know, he knows the club. He knows the style of play that they're going to play. And that would hopefully get his confidence up and get him back scoring goals. But the matter of fact is, I don't think Halifax will be able to contribute to our wage as much as, you know, Wrexham would hope to do. Because, of course, Halifax, they're in the National League. They don't have money lying around to chuck at Billy Waters' wage. And I think it's fair to say that Billy Waters... It's on probably at least three and a half, four thousand pounds a week. So you expect to see maybe it be a 50-50 split, maybe a 40-60 in favour of Wrexham. Cannot see Halifax 
playing anything more than 15-20% for their wages. It's just not a financially favourable for Halifax Town, of course. You'd only get him from January until the end of the year, so it would be a good move for Billy Waters, but if we're looking at it from a financial point of view, I cannot see this happening. Wrexham will be wanting Halifax to contribute to his wage because, of course, he's contributed nothing really to Wrexham OC since signing Billy Waters. He's tried, of course, and that's taken nothing away from Billy Waters. We know the quality is there. He just needs to go to a club to get his confidence up, to get him back scoring goals, to get back in the rhythm of playing and hopefully return to Wrexham and revive his career. And I do think there's definitely a few League 2 clubs that would snap at the opportunity to get Billy Waters on a short-term loan until the end of the season. You know, he's a player that needs game time to, of course, get his confidence back, you know, get back scoring goals that he's done for Barrow, done for Halifax. You know, he seems to be working really well under Pete Wilde, who, of course, we saw him play their Barrow team the other week. So could a return to Barrow possibly be back on the cards on loan? We don't know. He's done incredible well for Halifax like I said in the National League but I cannot see him going back to the National League side but this is definitely a situation that you need to keep your eye on in the transfer window and the last bit of news we're going to be talking about is on our lone goalkeeper Luke McNicholas. Sligo Rovers manager John Russell has confirmed last Friday that McNicholas's lone deal at Wrexham will be turned a permanent one in the next couple of weeks. Now apparently it was always going to be a permanent move and it was meant to be a permanent move in the summer transfer window but the logistics at the time meant that we could only get McNicholas on a loan until January and of course we've got that option to buy him. It seems as if Phil Parkinson is going to take up that opportunity to get McNicholas tied down on a permanent transfer which I'll be honest I'm very very happy with you know Nicholas has shown some really promising signs when he's played in the EFL trophy and I think he does look a really comfortable goalkeeper and it could be a good stepping stone in his career you know he's at Wrexham OC he's at an ambitious club and I think he can learn a lot off the people in and amongst Wrexham and I do think there's potential for him to possibly kick on and who knows he could be Wrexham OC's number one he's definitely shown the fundamentals of a good goalkeeper he's young of course he's got room to improve and this could be a big miss for Sligo if they don't don't replace him properly so yeah Luke McNicholas looks as if he's going to be signing for Wrexham on a permanent deal and yeah that is it for today's video let me know in the comment section down below would you like to see Clark Harris sign do you think Billy Waters should leave Wrexham AFC like I said I would love to see your thoughts in the comment section down below subscribe like do all that good stuff and I'll see you in another video take care guys up the town